Hello everybody, this is Game God Fluent bringing you a new Let's Play for my channel. This is episode one, <coughs> excuse me, of Let's Play Dark Quest 2. So what is Dark Quest 2? Well, it's a bit of a dungeon crawler. Um, and yeah, you crawl through a castle and your end goal is to defeat the sorcerer. Uh, the evil sorcerer who owns the castle or stays in the castle so that's a pretty basic description but we'll learn more as we play um, let's go ahead and check the options we've got our graphics everything looks fine there our music and sound everything is good gameplay seems about right so uh you know why talk let's get right into it and see let's see delete that um, see how it goes so I'm going to attempt um, a hardcore playthrough heroes cannot be resurrected once they die if your heroes all your heroes die the game is over uh, I I want to do a hardcore yeah let's do hardcore why not I have a letter for you, friend. On the night of celebration hosted by the king himself, there was a deep and sinister evil lurking beneath the castle. The sorcerer with his orcs and goblins dug tunnels and attacked us from below. Monsters from another dimension were summoned, and within a few hours every man, woman, and child were butchered in a night of blood and drunken frenzy. The only people who survived that night were here in the village, a village haunted by the screams of our fallen brethren. You must now enter the castle to face madness, horror, and death on your ultimate quest to defeat the evil sorcerer and his minions. Good luck. Travel to the castle. We must warn Master. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Master. They are coming. I see them. What would you have me do, Master? Open the gates. Let them in. Yes, Master. <laughs> so, pretty cool little cutscene there. Alright, so this is the tutorial. Moving. Left click on an empty on an empty floor to see the path your hero will take there. Left click again and your hero will move there. You can play another hero during your turn by simply clicking on him. So right now we have one hero, Barbarian, 40% to block, deals up to three damage. And uh, click to move, like so. Left click on the skeleton corpse to search for treasure. This will test your perception. If you succeed, you will discover some treasure. Right click on a character to see their statistics. So if we right click, Barbarian, a powerful character who can bring terror and death to all his enemies with the skill of a sword. Attack 3, type physical, range 1, 60% accuracy, 40% defense, movement 5, life 7 out of 7. There's sanity, 50%, courage, 80%, and perception, 40%. So if I click this, there's a 40% chance to find treasure. And we found nothing. So we will continue. Your attack and accuracy control how much damage you will do with each strike. An attack of 1 and accuracy of 60% means there's a 60% chance to score a hit. This repeats for every attack point. The enemy will use his defense and try to block those hits. So we have a goblin warrior, 20% to block, deals up to 1 damage, 60%. Let's go get him. Ah, oh, nice. Pouch of gold coins, 44 gold. So we have 44 gold. You can use gold in the village to buy potions, rest at tavern, and more. We've got magic pots. You can find these magic pots throughout the dungeon and use them in your up village to upgrade your abilities. The last surviving monster also drops a magic pot. And uh, we'll get to the rest of it as we go. Turn back now whilst you still can. <laughs> Love that. Let's continue. Okay, so there's a magic pot can be used to learn new abilities and skills. Alright, so the dungeon diverges here and we'll go up this way. Oh, treasure chest. 100 coins. Nice. Let's 
Skull of Fate. Upon activating the skull, one of the following will happen. A random enemy will die. A random enemy will suffer 1 to 2 points of damage. You will be healed for 1 to 2 points. You will get some gold or nothing will happen. So let's roll the Skull of Fate. Nothing happens. Got him. Anything there? No. Alright, it diverges again. Let's try this way. Abilities. You can use abilities such as the Barbarian's Throwing Axe to win a battle. These are unique powers and can only be used once in each quest, so use them with care. With care. Once in each quest, really. Hmm. And now I'm out of axes. Oh. I should have throw throw the uh axe at this warlock. Alright, let's head back and see what's this way. Nothing. So I've taken some hits. I'm five out of seven damage now. Let's see what's up here. Oh, magic pot. 30 coins, 20, 25. Need to find a way to open the gate. 40% chance to find treasure, 18 coins, 27 coins. All right, if we try to open this gate, the door opens to some sort of mechanism. Let's try hitting up here. Aha. Some characters like the wizard and goblin warlock have a magical attack. To block magic damage from either an attack or an ability, you must have a spell shield. No, there's also chaos damage which cannot be blocked by any means. Let's kill you first. Missed. Oh, I hate these warlocks. There we go. Nice. Magic pot. 32 coins. Path of the exit is now clear. I'm hearing some pretty awesome music. We meet again, barbarian. Ha 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 ha. You are brave. Even though you are doomed. Ha 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 ha. Your magic will soon come to an end, sorcerer. Alright, dungeon exit. Exit this dungeon. This is as far as I've played off screen. I don't know what comes next. Victory. Congratulations. You've successfully completed your quest and you're now closer to finding the lair of the evil sorcerer. You must return to your village, to the village, and rest for your next mission. Some important things you can do in the village. Rest at tavern to restore missing health points. Learn new spells. Buy potions. Resurrect dead heroes. Start a new quest. Okay. Blacksmith. Lock. Complete more quests. We must keep our spirits strong in these dark times. Magician. Quests and adventures. The elder. Alchemist. Purchase potions. If you're looking for a good night's sleep, you're at the right place. Okay, we can invite players as well. Can I change the difficulty just in case things get bad? Apparently not. So we're playing hardcore whether we like it or not. Um, so we're four out of seven life. I guess we should spend the night. Oh, that's strange. You're welcome. When you return to the village from a quest, your heroes will have low health. To restore to full health, it is necessary to rest them, and otherwise you will start the next quest with the same health. Drag a hero to the slots. I have the following beds available for tonight. A good night's rest will get you back in full strength. Now that will be 50 GP per head. What do you say? Sure. I feel much better. Can we recruit new heroes? 
Here you will find new heroes that can join your party for a fee. To recruit a hero, drag him onto your party. If you have enough gold, the hero will join you. Oh, you have recruited zero out of four heroes. The next hero will join your party after you've completed zero more quests. A wizard? This character is very weak in close combat, but his highly potent spells are capable of altering the outcome of any battle to your favor. Use his powers wisely and you may stand a chance. Knight, her healing touch and mesmerizing aura will provide warmth and strength to the party in these dark days. Dark Monk, a mysterious traveler who, has, who, who possesses both the arts of darkness and light. He is able to use both at will to inflict or cure pain. An archer, a highly elusive character that can set up traps and shoot with deadly arrows. Her agility allows her to evade melee attacks and sometimes hide away from prying eyes. A dwarf, the dungeons are fast and dangerous, but with the help of the dwarf you have nothing to fear. His quick feet and eye for danger will save you against numerous traps and grave danger, unlock through a quest. And Barbarian, a powerful character who can bring terror and death to all his enemies with the skill of his sword. How much do they cost, I wonder? Um, what actually do I want? I think I'd like the archer. I am ready for battle. And how about the knight? Oh, I can't recruit anymore. Alright, that's pretty cool. Blacksmith, more quests. Magician learns spells. Hello there, stranger. Welcome. Learn powers and skills. To learn or upgrade an ability or skill, you need to spend one magic pot. An ability may only be used once in a quest, whereas a skill can be used multiple times. Drag and drop the magic pot at the bottom to a slot. Okay, we've got detect traps. As you move around, you're able to see hidden traps in a distance. We have survival instincts, evades melee attacks and hides away. Oh wait, let's look for the barbarian. Throwing axe. This is an ability. It's one out of two, and we can only use that one once per time, once per trip. This is a skill. Counterattack. Every time you get attacked, you have a chance to counter back. That sounds good. Double attack. As you study your opponent, you're able to launch an additional strike every 5, 4, 3 attacks. Ability. Fear of steel. Increases your offensive powers. Effect will last until you exit the room. Pretty cool. Tactics. Improves the overall effectiveness of the Barbarian in the battlefield. Adds one damage to throwing axe. Surviving enemies struck by fear of steel become afraid. 50% chance to do a triple strike when double strike triggers. Rage is a skill. If your health drops below 2, 3, 4, you gain plus 2 attack for as long as your health is below the level. And man to man. Enters into man to man combat every time you initiate an attack. Each character attacks in sequence. Bonus attacks last until you exit the room. And that's an ability. Hmm. That will prove useful. So we have a 10% chance to trigger a counterattack. And we have two magic pots for two characters. So let's get her this at level one, two squares around her. She'll be able to detect traps. Um, surprise attack. Magic arrow equips you with one, two, three arrows that deal two magic damage on a target enemy. Mend wounds. Applies bandages to a friendly character, increasing by 3, 4, 5 points. Explosive arrow, that's an ability. And trap is an ability. Survival instincts is a skill. Evades melee attacks and hides away. Let's go with surprise attack. Upon entering a room, you have a 20, 40, 60% chance to launch a surprise attack to the enemy. That sounds pretty good. So I like this upgrade system. It's simple, but you can get pretty, you know... Not super in depth with it, but you can get 
well enough in depth. Hello there, stranger. Welcome. Buy potions. Each hero may carry one to three potions. Drinking a potion will consume it. You may only use one potion per turn. Drag and drop a potion on the bag slot to purchase it. Um, you're carrying two. And we've got a potion of resistance. Gives you two magic shields to protect you against magic. Potion of life. Um, heals your character. Upon consuming the potion, one of the following will happen. If it's low quality, it'll heal one health point. 70% chance to restore two hit points. And 10% for exceptional quality restores three health points. Um, then we've got a potion of rejuvenation. Your character has one additional action for this turn. Potion of refresh refreshes your mind, allowing you to recast a spell you have previously used. Does not refresh abilities or ch with charges or ammo. Divine potion completely heals your hero, plus adds two magic shields. And stone skin potion reduces all incoming damage to a maximum of one. Lasts until end of combat. I think, let's see, you could get Potion of Resistance and give her a Health Potion. I was going to take the Stone Skin Potion. Like the potion of life as well. Alright, cool. So finally, let's talk to the elder. Um, advice? I could give you some advice, but you wouldn't know what to do with it. Custom maps? You have not downloaded any maps yet. You can find new maps in the Steam Workshop. Very cool. Campaign? Quest map. Introduction. This is your first mission. You should enter the castle through the mountain entrance and find a way further in. Elder. Max players one. Falling rocks have sealed this area. You may not enter again. The passage. You continue your exploration inside the mountain caves. These caves seem to be hiding some sort of a secret tunnel that may lead you to the main castle. Max players two and it's available. So we click it. You must now assemble your party and travel to the castle to complete your mission, but beware. The evil sorcerer is always watching, the Elder. Cool. I'm liking this so far, it's simple but effective. Short and sweet. Okay, do I have to move what is this? Potion of resistance. Oh, that's passive. Okay. There we go. I like that long range attack. We'll let her lead the way. Got a treasure chest. Fifty coins. So the game does get pretty challenging later on. Um as well as you can control more party members. Ooh. The castle and its dungeons hold many traps. Most of them will trigger only once, then become harmless. Traps can only be detected through a skill or by carrying a torch. The 
this drop is now harmless. And her life is four out of five. Okay. I don't know if I detected that. Ooh. Goblin Archer. Cool. Cool. Thirty two gold. Fifty gold. Whew. Two goblin warlocks. Alright. Shoot that one. Come down here. Ouch. Ouch. Cool. Cool. 33 gold. She's really effective in combat. Um, let's head back. So there is a map. If I click this, we can see where we're at a bit. Um, let's head down this way. Oh, okay. Oh no. Okay, one killed him. Cool. Oh, I could have rolled the Skull of Fate as well. Look at some gold. Use a health potion. Counter attack. Cool. Yikes. Is there any way to heal? herbs in this potion make me feel better okay that stone on the floor looks peculiar which one that one a secret passage dungeon exit Cool, but could we stick around and explore a bit more? I think we can. Famous last words. Um, can you disarm the trap? No. You come down here. Yes, there's still gold to pick up. 19. Who has the better perception? She has 50% perception, so hers is a bit better. Oof. Oh no. 
I didn't want to do that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Dang. We got greedy. And only perhaps my archer is going to make it. Oh, can't move there. Path is blocked. Dang. So let's go ahead and exit this place. We can always come back, I think. Congratulations, you successfully completed your quest and are now closer to finding the lair of the evil sorcerer. You must return to the village and rest for your next mission. So it does get pretty hard. So, um, I actually think... I'm going to start over on normal because I think hardcore is probably a little too hardcore and we can always resurrect where can we resurrect yeah we'll start over um start over on normal so I'm going to get back to the place we were off camera I believe and then next time um, we'll start I'll go through the tutorial off camera and then next time when we start the episode I'll be at the proper village again and then we'll do that mission over all right, so that was episode one. Pretty cool game. Um, now that we can resurrect, uh, I can go through this and we can do it properly in play. So, again, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more Dark Quest 2. Seems like a pretty fun game to let's play. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, much love, peace, joy, and light to you. And I will see you in the next one. Uh, so long, everybody.